<laughs> we're live, and I'm, I think they caught me sitting down right now. But uh, <laughs> we're live right here on the LDM show, and like I said, today is Bronx Day, and we have to bring some of the uh, best of the Bronx. Um, we have so, so many people that are doing so much for the Bronx, and we had to bring one. And she's a blogger, uh, what, um, princess, I can say, like, you know, a queen and everything. And she is just an all-around amazing female. And w when the LDM show tries to bring a female here, we try to empower the woman. And when my PR said, oh, we have someone that's a queen and a blogger, I was like, we got to get her on. You know what I'm saying? It's like, because of the reason is people in pageants, some people think, uh, you know what I'm saying? Like, they not more than just a pageant. And you're not. No. You're so, so much more. It's a lot more. Um, basically, what I do for a living is I blog about, you know, the modeling industry, the fashion industry, um, and I just break down on uh, how people can break into the modeling industry. Right. Um, but what I also do is I have a nonprofit organization called Coupon Cart Club, mm -hmm. where I help people um, save money. Let me see something. Ooh, is, it, is it on? That way, yeah. oh. <laughs> that way they can hear you louder. <laughs> Sorry. So I have a non-for-profit organization named Coupon Card Club. Um, so what I do is I have meetings um, every Tuesday, um, okay. and I help people to save money um, and, you know, eventually help them to build a business. Oh, okay. um, I have videos on YouTube where I teach people what to do, what uh, deals to get, um, basically mm -hmm. just saving a dollar um, with everyday life. Oh, wow. So, I basically just break it down so people can just take themselves to the next level. But what I also have is private classes for victims of domestic violence, violence. so they can build themselves up. Sometimes, you know, a lot of the women, they go through this uh, situation. They don't want to leave be because of financial, you know, situations. Right. And what I do is I give them that opportunity. I give them that, show them that way that they can build themselves up. They can save money. They can make their own money um, and move on with their lives. Don't stay in that situation because you feel that, oh, it's a financial benefit Burden. or it's yeah. the only way that, you know, I can take care of me and my kids. No, there's other ways that you can do it. And I help them, you know, do what they need to do to save their money and get out of there. Which is um, nice because, like, when I was reading a little bit about you, I was like, wait a minute coupons to save for domestic violence like <laughs> I never would thought about that you know like what I'm how, saying how a connection it would have and it's, right. it's a tremendous connection it's it's actually unbelievable on the the percentages that women actually stay because they feel like they can't provide for themselves ah okay and because I never you know we we uh we do three things which is cancer domestic violence and bully um and I say it again that's why our colors are purple blue and pink and I never thought about domestic violence being um, like a cripple of finance. Like, they cripple you with that. I know they cripple you with the mind, the body, and the stuff like that. And, you know, now I just learned that they can also cripple you with the finance. Like, bring you down, saying you don't got the money, you don't got this, you don't got... Yeah, they definitely, you know? they use any power that they can to um, control you. And a lot of times, it it's it breaks down to it being like you don't have that money because you're having kids by this person and you're mm. like, oh, he says to you, you, you can't do it on your own. You won't be able to do it on your own. Um, in my experience, uh, my mother um, was in a domestic violence relationship. Um, it actually affected me and my sister. So that was one of the main reasons why, why. Um, we had to leave. But one of the things that she was doing when she was getting ready to leave and she was getting ready to build her courage to go was couponing. And I thought, <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was, you know, kind of weird at first, but then I realized what a connection it is. Like, how did she do that? You know, she used that, that, you know what? I can get this toilet paper for free. And I did that for myself. So if I can do this for myself, what else can I do for myself? Wow. Now, you know, I'm, I'm try I was trying to figure out, like, 
when I said, when I seen those two, like, how does this, but now you broke it down, so now I understand. Yeah, it right. does give them that empowerment where, okay, I can do it for myself. Right. And you've been telling me I couldn't do it for myself. So it breaks the chain, and I, which I like that. I, I like the whole concept of doing that because when I thought of coupons, I'm thinking of a bunch of people saying, hey, I got a two for one. What you got? You got three, though. Let's trade this. You know what I say? Let's trade for this. What well, you got? You know? Well, actually, we do kind of do that. <laughs> meetings every Tuesday what I do encourage is any coupons that you're not using you bring it to the meeting and you trade it out with other people because there's sometimes there's some products that you know you don't use that I use right right, right. so it's like you know I have um, a, a two-year-old so he's still in diapers mm -hmm. so if there's somebody who's a, a club member they'll bring in their coupons for diapers, for diapers. and I'll trade them out for something different um, most of the time, I use, give away, like, my uh, dish detergent Charging. stuff um, because certain dishwashing liquids I don't really use. <laughs> but I basically just give that opportunity for people to sit there to trade, to learn how to save money, and in a great way. Like, mm. you know, Staples is having their back-to-school sale already. Yeah. Right? And Staples actually takes coupons. Which is crazy. So a, ba a box of crayons that you could be paying like a dollar or two dollars for, you can get it for like 25 cents. Oh, wow. Like, and that is amazing. A, a lot of people don't understand like how serious the coupon art was. Right. Um, when I was at, at law school, there was a, uh, a case where this lady killed someone because she was stealing her coupons. It, 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 check it out. If you're not thinking I'm lying, <laughs> go to Google and type it. It's there. It was just amazing how, that's why I said, and then I, when I hear couponing, I'm, I'm thinking like, you know, uh, four street market and stuff, you know, like stock markets. Like, oh, two for four, hey, three for five. Let's go, let's go. You know, ding. <laughs> you know, I'm thinking of the, trade, the trading, but I never thought of it as getting your life back, like mm -hmm. getting that empowerment to take your life back. I'm Imagine going to uh, the supermarket and picking up, you know, toilet paper for your family, and you have to pay like what is it, like twenty four ninety nine for right. a pack, like a big huge pack. Imagine getting that for free. How you would feel? And it's legal. It's not. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we didn't say five finger discount. Stop, no, okay? no, no, no. We, we, we and say it's coupon legal. Um, it gives you such a great feeling, mm. and that's something that those women need. They need that feeling to be like. I did this. I can do this. I can move forward with my life. And I know it sounds completely insane, like, oh, who cares really about getting free um, toilet paper? But it, sometimes it affects someone's life. Yeah. Like, it's giving them the opportunity to build themselves up and build their children up because, you know, the children are the ones that see it as well. Like, right. in my experience, you know, I went through that. I seen that. And I felt helpless in that situation because I was so little. Like, there was nothing that I could do. I felt, you know, that I wasn't strong enough of that. But when my mother showed that example, you know what? This is what I'm going to do. This is the steps I'm going to take. And then I'm going to go. That showed me that, you know what? We can do this together. I can help you. Wow. I actually um, had a friend who was in a situation uh, about a year and a half ago, um, she had told me that she was in a relationship that became abusive. And I told her, I was like, listen, if you want me to go to Buffalo, I will drive up there and I will get you. And she said, no, I'm going to get myself together and I'm going to come to you and we're going to coupon together <laughs> and we're going to get everything together. And, you know, it took her some time, but I, I, I bothered her every week. I'm like, hey, we're having another meeting on Tuesday. Are you coming? Are you coming? And you oh know what? God. She had the courage to come. And I, I wow. taught her how to coupon. And the greatest thing that, you know, happened that made me feel really good was that when she was in her um, DV shelter in here in New York, um, she went back to the other girls and was teaching the other girls. So I would so teach she, her. She took then, what she learned, basically. Right, and then I would give her extra coupons. I'm like, hey, give it to the girls. I know they have babies. I know sometimes they supply you with these things, but, you know, you run out. Babies go through diapers. Let's, yeah. let, let's do this together. Yep. Let's show them wow. how we can do this and build their strength. And, you know, it's so amazing that she saved so much money that she started her own business now. And what was the most you ever seen someone, like, they saved? In, in one one shot, 
Like well, they, they shopped one time. Well, pertaining to mine, um, I had a three hundred dollar uh, shopping bill at Stop and Shop, and I only paid twenty dollars. Wow! And listen, it works. <laughs> it works. It does work. It does take a lot of patience. Yeah. Um, but it was so amazing once it happened. I know the people that were behind me were so I was mad, just going to say that because some people don't be like, oh, here comes a coupon. And they be taking out that little coupon book. Oh, wait, I got one for that. Oh, and I, have like, oh I have God. a binder. I have a binder. I brought my binder here if you wanted to see it. But oh, we'll see it right after commercial break. <laughs> we're going to check out this binder. <laughs> I have a coupon binder with all my coupons. And I know when I go into Stop and Shop now and they see that binder, they're like, oh, oh my no. God, here she go. They, they probably notice you run on the line. Stay on the line right there before she gets there. <laughs> but it's good. Like, if you could save almost 75% to 80% of your bill, that's amazing. Yeah. You know, because I, I, I sometimes I look at the coupon, but I'll be like, uh, a 25 cent save. I don't want to save no 25 cent, you know. But if, if you think about it, the 25, 25, 25 adds right? up. Right, it adds up. And then what you can do is you can take that money, you put it aside, you don't touch it. <laughs> and then you wait for something that you really, really want to buy or a trip that you want to take or a business wow. that you want to start. You can use that money. It only costs $200 to, to start your initial business, $200. So imagine if you start saving your coupons and put that money aside, you get your $200, and now you, you have your own You got own your gig. license and all you that. You have your own gig that you which, can which, do for yourself. Which is so amazing that you're saying that because um, it's like when you grab – something and you already know you're going to spend 40 or 50 bucks so you already know okay i'm wasting 50 bucks on groceries but then when you get that bill at the end and you only wasted 20 that means you still had 30 dollars that you could put it aside and forget about it because you're already in your mindset you already wasted that 50 dollars right. which that is a good concept now that i think about it because when you said it like that i'm like mm, that is true because if i'm going to the supermarket and i'm already thinking about spending a certain amount of money but I saved it. That means that money could go to the side. Right. So and you'll be amazed how much money you're going to save. What happens is, is like you go to the supermarket and you're like, I'm going to spend this amount. And you actually end up spending more. So what you have to keep in mind is training yourself to only pick up those specific items that you absolutely need. Mm -hmm. A tip and trick that you guys can get, and I'm giving this one to you for free, <laughs> is... When you're going to shop at a, a supermarket, bring your recyclable bottles, put them in the recyclable, use that receipt, and then use that towards the transaction that you're going to be doing. Now, mm. the vegetables that you want to pick up, because most of the time they don't really have coupons for vegetables, right. you can use that money towards the vegetables that you're going to pick up. There you go. So those people that are uh, collecting the bottles and putting those five cents in there, they're making... Because I've seen one person go on the front of my line with that little paper from the machine. Mm -hmm. She had like $32 on that receipt. So I was like, okay. So imagine you're, you have your coupons, you have the, the money that you get from the bottles. You're going to be winning. Wow. <laughs> and where's the, the, the best place to save money at? Like, you know, like who gives the most savings, the most coupon savings? I would say CVS. I love, love CVS. Mm. Let me tell you something. I went to CVS the other day, and this week they have a deal actually on uh, diapers. Um, when you spend uh, $30, you get a $10, what they call is the ECB, and that's mm. money. Technically, it's like money that you can use later. But, you know... You can actually just use it on the next transaction. So right. basically, my meetings just break everything down for you. And sometimes what I do is I take the people on shopping trips oh. so that they know how it, to feel. Yeah. They know what to do. If they have a problem with a coupon where the coupon is beeping, you know, they talk to certain people and there's a certain way. You have to be nice. Yeah. The people at the register. I know that sometimes they're grumpy. <laughs> <laughs> big, big time, big time. But you, you got to be nice to them because they're there all day. And then you come in with your book of coupons and you're trying to save. But when you're really nice to them and, yeah. you know, you work out the problems, you can get the savings and the deals. Yeah. I have a tip. Um, when I was in marketing class, I don't know if you do this, but you guys, when you buy something in the back, it has the address of the company. Right. You can mail those um, people and say, I would like to try your product. And they send you a coupon. Yeah. I don't know if you guys do that, but um, I did that in, in marketing class to see if it worked. And it worked. 
It does work. I was like, I love Chip Ahoy's and I eat it every day. They send me a coupon for two um, Chip Ahoy's if I buy one for, um, and then the other two are free. Yeah. So Definitely. I was like, okay, but I stopped doing it. I don't know why, but I stopped. <laughs> no, companies actually still do it. Um, one of the main companies that's doing it now is actually Poland Spring. They have oh. a new line called Poland uh, Spring Sparkling, and they actually are giving out cases of the sparkling water for free. Whew, look at that. I'm telling you guys. I'm, I'm going to teach y'all how to save you here. You guys check something. out my blog. I have all that information there. I always have tips and tricks. Even if you guys can't come to a meeting, sometimes I have like live showing. Right. But I, I always put up like little links and stuff like that so you can definitely get free things like that and how to write to them and all of that stuff. <laughs> wow. It, it, it's an amazing, I, I'm telling you, like when I came, I didn't know what to expect, but now I'm like, wait a minute, I'm going to save money. And I'm one of those little pinchers. Um, my wife can tell you, we, we, we're moving, and she's buying something, and I'm like, oh, we don't really need that. You want that. Mm, no, ooh, $80? I don't know. You know, like, <laughs> mm, we could save that $80 and buy something different. Um, we can buy two of those tables. So I'm one of those type of person, but now that you're saying the coupon, I'll probably be a coupon person. You never know. So you see me in the, the line and pulling out one of those little carts. <laughs> Blame her. <laughs> You, you'll see me with my binder and my little car. You know the little, little yeah. car that people be bringing? Hell yeah. That's me. Oh, my, my God. Little, my little black heart and my, my, my binder. <laughs> yeah. But we're going to take a short break, and we're going to come right back, and we're going to check out this binder, and we're going to talk a little bit more about her page and what she blogs about and everything else. All right? This is the LDM Show. We'll be right back. side of a teenage girl in British Columbia is drawing attention tonight to the issue of bullying. Before she died, she chronicled online what she'd endured. Now, as Duncan McHugh reports, much of the response is also appearing online. Bullying and suicide has been a great issue on today's world. But what would happen if we would have stopped what's happening and became friends with the person being bullied? Maybe the results would have been different. Let's watch this video again, but this time, let's stop this and see what happens. Oh, that girl, she thinks he's all that. I first just stopped all around. I mean, just look at her. Doesn't she know nobody wants her here? Her own mother wants her. She should just stay home with daughters. Give her boyfriend nothing for the other one. I would too. Hashtag loser. <laughs> Okay, yeah, I guess so. Don't worry about them, they're nobody's anyway. Yeah, girl, they only seem to be good because they have nothing better else to do with so. Yes, girl, that is true. Yeah, I know, I just hate it when they say stuff like that, especially when it's not true. So what, they're only good? Well, it's just that. That. Never mind. You guys will never understand. It's okay, we're friends now, so let's get out of here and talk about it. I don't know. Come on, it'll be okay. We can go and talk about it. Yes, girl, remember you are not alone. Well, I don't know. Oh, I don't see how it works, but I'll go. Push you hard, let you fall, you can't run, but you can't, can't hide. I hope tomorrow be the day, stay strong and move on. Love and I won't hide. You can run, but you can't hide. He's got me, he's guilty of loving. Oh, that girl, she thinks she's all that. Uh, I heard she's all around. 
Hello and welcome back to the LDM show. Like I said, we've been, uh, if you guys just logged on, you just missed how to save a lot of money <laughs> from getting groceries for $300 and only paying $20. Um, and you've probably seen it in many other talk shows. Like I seen in Dr. Oz one time, they were talking about it mm -hmm. and stuff like that. I just thought it was just a, a thing for, their, for his show, but I realized it's not. <laughs> and then we took a commercial break because she wanted to bring her arsenal of, of things here to show you. She even got a, like a loose lead book with um, and everything. So is that what you carry to the uh, supermarkets or? Yes, this is actually what I carry to the supermarkets, to CVS, to any of the stores. Um, oh my God. Because basically any store that accepts coupons, because um, some supermarkets actually don't accept them. You have to make sure that you they check are? with the, with the oh, managers wow. first. Know. Yeah, unfortunately. I didn't know that. Um, Screw y'all. <laughs> <laughs> Boo. <laughs> but I bring this trusty binder with me. I okay. actually um, love telling the story about this binder, but this binder, I actually got it at Staples probably about three, four years ago. I got it on sale for like $5. Oh, wow. Yeah, so it's just, you know, Staples always has great sales, but you have to wait until usually was like that your, the your, season. Was that your first coupon sale that you ever made? What was your no, first one? No, um, my first coupon sale would probably be paper towel. Paper towel? Right. <laughs> okay. And then I, I got it for free, so it was just amazing. <laughs> <laughs> the word free is amazing. We yes. just said networking and supporting is free. So I look love at that. that. It's, like, so great. So it has, like, different components. Um, Could you hold this for yes, a Yes, yes, I, I can. I want to show you. So, oh, it's, it's a little messy, but basically, um, when I'm working on my like my different coupons and stuff like that, I have have my little kit on what I need to do before I get to this point. So, what I always tell people is, you know, get a post-it note, get a pen, and always use some a trusty clippies. Mm. <laughs> um, it helps keep them together. It helps them keep them organized. And then usually, like, the next step that I do is I write down um, what kind of coupon booklet it is um, and what the expiration dates are on them. And basically, this is just how I set up. I cut them up after that and then just organize them on what type of products I'm going to be using and um, basically, like, foods and different things. So You got to set up, like, a baseball card collection. <laughs> <laughs> To, you know, to pull out when um, when I'm in the when supermarket I'm... because, oh, okay. you know, I keep in mind, like, what is it that I'm going to have and I have it organized by different sections. And oh. then all I have to do is once I see something that's on sale, I just pull out the coupon and, and put it aside. It. And then once I get to the register, I have my pile of coupons and Ooh. I'm like, I'm not paying that. Here you go. Hey, wow. <laughs> that's an amazing. And. Things like that, you can wind up saving so, so much money. So, guys, look into that. Um, but uh, right now, I want to talk a little bit about your, your blogging and stuff like that. What do you normally use? Fashion and coupons. and you, you do so much on that. Right. So, like, I have the coupon blog when I do a coupon cart club. But um, my basic job, my regular job, um, is uh, in fashion and modeling. So, I blog right. about usually different fashion events that I get invited to. Everything from um, fashion week. Mm -hmm. to uh, new designers, new nail polishes, new beauty makeup that come into the market. Um, I teach people how to become the new big thing, which is an influencer. Uh -huh. So a lot of times um, people, you know, they're like, oh, I can do that. I can do reviews on stuff. How, how do I get into this? Right. And I just break down, you know, what's the steps that you need to take, um, what you have to do, and, uh, you know, okay. what what to move forward like when you want to become an influencer the first thing you have to do is clear out your instagram mm. i love you guys but a lot of your jokes sometimes big companies do not, do not like. like it i said the same thing so mm -hmm. if you want your image to be built up and you want people to follow you unfortunately you have to clear out a lot of the stuff that's there and then mm -hmm. what you do is you pick um a big product that you like um, mm -hmm. Like there's a new company called Flesh Beauty that has a new line that, that came out. What you do is you purchase it, you do a review on it, and then you contact them. And you'd be like, hey, I tried this product. It's amazing. You should check out my video. And most of the time what ends up happening is 
the company, if they really enjoy the video, they'll end up sharing it and be like, hey, look what this person said about our product. And bam. There you go. Next thing you know it, the next time they have something that's on their line, there guess was, who they're calling? Oh, that's, that's they're so calling great. You. They're sending you a box. <laughs> but I, I definitely want to uh, say, we, since we have the music awards and some people are going to come in with their different clothes, I would love for you to look at some of the pictures and be like, mm, nah, no, yes. <laughs> because that we are going to do that. It, it is going to be a red carpet and we are going to be talking about what they wore to the, to the award show and stuff like that. Um, and we definitely want to bring you back because as the summer dies down, we want to talk about what to wear for the winter times, the new right. fashion stuff. Yes. So we always, you can always come in anytime you want and have a little segment on here talking about fashion. We oh, would love would be it. Amazing. We would love um, a fashion talk and beauty tips once in a while, once a month or something like that, where people can understand what's going on. I don't mind. I will step to the side and let you sit and talk. <laughs> um, that would be because great. we always thought about that we always were saying about fashion and the do's and don'ts and uh, makeup and stuff like that but I'm not a makeup expert um uh, fashion I, my wife just says this looks nice and when I look in the uh, magazines if it looks good on me that's what I wear so um you know like today I'm just casual today uh because it was so hot and I was running around I said you know what today I'm gonna do casual no shirt no ties no nothing today uh well you know? there's there's different things in, in the fashion industry that have available for men to wear that is still formal, but it's still, you know, comfortable and flattering to your body. Like mm -hmm. right now, the best thing to wear is um, linens okay. and like cotton linen blends. They're strong enough to not be as wrinkled, but they give breathable and they still will make you look professional and you can still do something like that. So. Hey, like I said, things happen here on the LDM show. <laughs> we're going to be talking about details later. And then if you see a poster of a new segment, that's because we're trying to bring a fashion designer in to <laughs> talk about it. And we're also coming back with our uh, magazine. So we always invite you and the other bloggers that are on our show today to have a page on our magazine as we come back out with it. Because um, people are complaining that why we stopped it because we started the show and we didn't have that much time for the magazine. Right. And all the stories were only coming from me and one other person. Right. But it made it look like there was a bunch of reporters and it wasn't. So we didn't have time to go back out there and then my wife was the editor, so making sure everything was right, you know, the spellings and everything else. So we only had a three man crew and it made it look like it was a whole big thing. So now they want the magazine back. So we keep saying we're gonna come back, give us time, we are. But uh, we have questions? <laughs> I love oh, babe. shout out to the husband. <laughs> Great, great. Family, uh, <laughs> that's when the family is on and supporting. Um, check us out. And again, guys, if you are watching, this will be aired on the Bronx Net as, um, at 3 o'clock, the 24th, I think it is, the, third, the last Monday of the month. So check out this um, thing on Bronx Net as well, which the video, you're probably saying, why? I'm watching it now. Because <laughs> we edit the video and mm -hmm. we have different things. Like if she's talking about coupons, you'll probably see coupons in the air and other, other stuff, you know. Um, and Jasmine Jennings. TV. And Jasmine Jennings? Yeah. Oh, that's my sister. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, again, I want to thank you for um, coming today. And, you know, like I said, we can work something out. You can come and shout out and do your fashion stuff. And I, will, I would love it. That would be amazing. I would love to do a segment on that and yeah. teaching people or tell, even telling people what's in, what's out, or yeah, yeah. how to wear certain clothes. Or Guys, <laughs> if, you, if you would love a fashion person on our show, let us know what you think. Which you, because, like I said, me and my co-hosts, we're not really fashion designers. We just say, <laughs> girl, that didn't look good. <laughs> you know, but someone that is in the uh, industry, that yeah, would be kind of perfect. I actually started in, uh, in menswear probably about 10 years ago. Okay. And then um, I crossed over into women's wear probably about five years ago. And then I um, studied at the New York School of Design for women's mm -hmm. wear. So, you know, I kind of know a little something. Yeah, a little something, something. <laughs> all right, all right, that's good. But again, check her out, uh, Catherine. She's doing so much stuff. But um, tell you the website again. Um, you can follow my blog at catscastings.com, or if you want to uh, follow my couponing and my coupon blog, go to couponcartclub.org. <laughs> there you go. Again, ladies and gentlemen, 
we're here making you learn something. So if you didn't learn nothing, then you're not really paying attention or watching. Um, and empowered to women, she's doing many, many things. Uh, and just keep up the good work. That's all I have to say. Keep up the good work because we need it, especially for the Bronx. We need to rise up. So again, you see so much stuff in the Bronx. We had the Bronx are here that he, he's showing his photographers. We have you. And now we're going to have another blogger who is in the Bronx as well. This is Bronx Day. All day today on the LDM Show. We'll be right back. This is hey, this is Charles Aloma. And your girl, Emma Garcia. And you can watch us at the LDMShow.com. YouTube. Facebook. And Instagram. And everywhere else. And, and women are better. No, see, you just up there. <laughs> learn how the men are better at this in the LDM Show. No, women are better than the LDM Show. Yeah, just watch us. LDMShow.com every Thursday from 6, 6 to 8. 8. And then also listen to us on the LDM. Got me, he's good.